Hey guys, it's Candy in the land of sushi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video guys, I will be talking about apartment hunting in Japan. So in this video, I'll be sharing to you how to find apartments and where to find Japanese apartments online. So if you're someone who is already in Japan and you are planning to move to a nicer apartment or a cheaper apartment, then this video is for you. If you are not yet here in Japan but you're planning to come to live and work here and you don't know where to start, then this video is also for you. So if you want to know more about apartment hunting in Japan, then please keep on watching. For the first part of this video guys, I am going to share all the websites that I know which are foreigner friendly and easy to navigate. And at the end of this video, I'll be sharing to you my tips on navigating these websites so you can score the best apartment for you. So let's start. For the first website, I recommend eheya.net. Heya means room. In Japanese. For the good points about this website, um, it is in English and other languages and it provides English support. Consultation about initial fees, steps of contract and application forms will be available for overseas applicants. So if you are outside of Japan, you can apply and search for apartments. Also, there is no guarantor required for their apartment listings. Short-term lease is available. And also, credit card payment is available. But for the bad points, when you use their English website, you have to sign up and register first before you can search for apartment listings under them. So my tip for you guys, if you want to see the available apartments up front, then use their Japanese website and not the English website. As the English website is only limited to application, registration, and apartment inquiries. If you don't know Japanese and you can't read Japanese, Google can translate Japanese websites to English. And another bad point of this apartment agent is that most of their listings can be a bit expensive. I feel like they are more on the higher end. So the next website is realestate.co.jp. This website is in English and they don't only provide lists of rentals, but they also have listings for apartments for sale. And they also have listings for serviced apartments and for short-term lease. But the downside for this website is that like eheya.net, they're a bit on the higher end. They're a bit more expensive compared to the other website. And um, some apartments are extremely, extremely overpriced, but they're nice and more modern and I find that they have more listings in mega cities like Tokyo, Osaka. They have fewer options available in the countryside. The third website is Gaijin Pot Apartments. Gaijin Pot Apartments offer an English website and they also have English speaking agents to help you out. They have apartment listings where you won't need a guarantor. You can also make payments through credit card and they also welcome overseas applicants which is a plus. So the only downside for Gaijin Pot is that they have fewer options available in the countryside. So the next three websites I will share, they have more options compared to the three websites I just mentioned. Um, they have more options in the countryside which is good because if you will be assigned in the countryside then you can use these three websites. So the fourth apartment agency is ABLE. What I like about ABLE is that they have a lot of apartment listings so you have more options to choose from and they also have apartment listings with no guarantor fee required, which is good because some apartments need you to have a guarantor and sometimes you pay them every month, which will cost quite a lot, you know, if they have if you have to pay monthly. The downside for Able is that they don't have an English website. I'm not sure if they provide English support, but yeah, you can use Google and have the website translated from Japanese to English, so that is no problem at all. The only problem is if you can't communicate in Japanese and they don't have English speaking agents available so that would be the only problem. The fifth agent is Apanman Shop. What I like about Apanman Shop guys is that they have more apartment listings compared to the other websites. They have a lot of apartment listings both in the countryside and in mega cities. They do have an English website but it is only limited to apartment inquiry. So if you want to see all the apartment listings available then you have to use their Japanese website. Again you can use Google Chrome for that. And what I also like about this website, guys, is that they have a lot of apartment listings with zero security deposit and zero key money, which saves you a lot. Although not all apartments listed in their website is zero security deposit and zero key money. You just have to specify this if you want to see all apartment listings.
savings with zero key money and zero security deposit. I'll teach you later on how to do that. The negative points with this agency is that not all apartment listings that they have can be paid through credit card and they don't have short-term contracts. Contracts are a minimum of one year. And also another downside, most if not all of their apartment listings, you need a guarantor. So you must pay a guarantor. It's mandatory. Finally, the last but not the least, I think this is like one of the best websites, especially if you're a foreigner because I find that this agent is the most foreigner friendly out of all and they have like bigger apartments and they provide like English support. Their website is in English and other languages and um, you can search for apartment listings and you can see the pictures even when you use their English website. So their English website is not just limited to inquiries and to registration but yeah you can use their website you can fully navigate their website in English so this agent is called village house they have English speaking agents they have a lot of moving campaigns they have moving support such as cashbacks and they can help you arrange with a moving van and if you're lucky they can provide a moving van for you for free that's how amazing this agent is although I haven't tried but I know some friends who have moved to a village house apartment and they're loving it relatively they have bigger apartment units and they have cheaper apartment rentals and move-in costs what's the best thing about this agent guys is that there is no security deposit, there is no key money, and there is no renewal or brokerage fees for most, if not all, of their apartment units, which save you tons and tons of money, guys. However, I find that most of their apartment units and buildings are quite far from stations and bus stops. So you need to walk like 20 minutes to the nearest station or 20 to 30 to 40 minutes to the nearest bus stop or station, which is very inconvenient if you don't have a car. Most of their units are only convenient for those who cycle or for those who can drive. And because they have cheaper apartment guys, most if not all of their apartment buildings are a bit outdated and old. So yeah, my tip for you is first, if you're looking for an apartment in Japan, know where you will be placed or know where you want to stay. That is very important in apartment hunting in Japan and if you know the postcode of the area and that would be really helpful or also the station would be very helpful in apartment hunting in Japan next is if you can't read Japanese then use Google Translate to use the websites I have mentioned so for the next tip guys I will use my phone maybe I'll use Ampanman shop and I'll teach you how to navigate and use their website okay so right now guys I'm using the website of Ampanman shop this is the mobile version there is a desktop version and it'll show the map of Japan on its first page okay now so let's go ahead and use the mobile version let's translate this page so you can see the English names of the prefectures let's click Koshinetsu, let's click Nagano and let's click search by line or station. Once we click that, you'll see all the train lines in Nagano. I'll just randomly choose a line. I chose Chuo line. Now I can see all the stations for Chuo line. And now I'm clicking Chikusa station. Let's translate that page. And here, it'll show all the apartment listings of that area. Now we want to narrow down our search. Let's click zero deposit and no key money. And let's click the pink button to search that condition. And let's translate the page again. Let's arrange that by ascending rent so that we can see the lowest rent available. Okay, there you go. There is an apartment unit for 27,000 yen. There is this one for 31,000 yen. I'm interested in that, so I'll click that. And now, let's translate the page again. And here, you can see all the pictures of that specific unit. And you can see the neighborhood of that apartment building. Now let's go down and see the details. Here you can see there is no security deposit. 
and key money here you can see the construction date the traffic how far it is from the station this is not bad it is a six minute walk from higashiyama line imaika station if we scroll down we can see more conditions we can see more property information here i'm zooming in the guarantor fee so this is the required payment for guarantor so if you are interested in that apartment then just go ahead and click the call button or the email button okay so now let's go to village house and you can choose an apartment listing by area map and train line so here let's go ahead and click area and let's click Hokiriku Koshinetsu and let's click Toyama City so here let's choose Toyama Shi that's Toyama City and now we can see the available apartment listings now let's scroll down and see more options here this is quite cheap let's choose this one let's try and click this is a 2dk which means two rooms dining and kitchen which which just cost 39,000 yen I'm on to gallery now and here you can see all the pictures of that specific apartment unit so obviously it is a little bit outdated and here you can see transportation the stations near that apartment so it's not that bad um, 10 minutes walk 12 minutes walk you can see the schools near this apartment unit and the public services around the neighborhood you can see here the property information how old the building is so if you're interested in this apartment just go ahead and email or click this call button there you have it guys those are the websites that i recommend i hope this video has been helpful to you guys and i hope that you like this video if you want more videos about japan and about the life of an alt then consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet also please don't forget to click that bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it you guys. Have a great day ahead and I'll see you in my next vlog. Goodbye!